In this screencast, I'm going to briefly describe what a eutectic is and then use a temperature mole fraction diagram to explain it in a little more detail. First, we need to understand this diagram. So, showing an alpha phase here. What that corresponds to is a solid that is mostly component B with some A dissolved in B. So A has limited solubility in B. Likewise, here we have a beta solid, which is mostly component A with some B dissolved in it. So the eutectic reaction corresponds to liquid going to form the alpha solid plus the beta solid. Let's look at exactly how that might happen. So if I picked a composition that corresponds to this point, so this mole fraction, this is the eutectic, where the eutectic forms, I might call that eutectic point. The eutectic temperature is this temperature. This would be the temperature where the eutectic forms. So let's start in the liquid phase at this point. And we lower the temperature. When we get to this point, as we continue removing heat, the temperature stays constant, and this eutectic reaction takes place. And we end up with a solid that's composed of the two phases, the alpha phase and the beta phase. So the eutectic solid is going to look something, an expanded view, the microstructure, alpha phase, beta phase, alpha phase, beta phase, and so forth. This laminar structure can certainly form other rod structures and globular structures, but let's just look at this laminar structure. It's certainly the most common. The relative thicknesses would relate to, just from looking at a lever roll, how much of alpha and how much of beta is in the eutectic. For the particular diagram I've drawn here, this distance here is about the same as that distance, which means there's about the same amount of alpha and beta in the eutectic. And the composition of the alpha phase is this mole fraction here. The composition of the beta phase in that eutectic is that mole fraction. So we have the eutectic. Notice it's the lowest melting point, important point, the lowest melting temperature for this system. And it also then behaves very much like pure material in that there's one temperature where we go from liquid to solid for component A, or one temperature we go liquid to solid component B. There's one temperature here where we form this eutectic solid. So if we cool down to this point where the X, we'd have a polycrystalline structure, and each of these crystals in the polycrystalline structure would have these layered structures. That's eutectic. And so then we might ask, what happens if we're not at that mole fraction corresponding to eutectic? So let's look what happens then. So let's suppose we start with this composition in the liquid phase and we cool down. We hit this line, we start forming the alpha phase, and as we continue to lower the temperature, the alpha phase composition changes and the liquid phase composition changes until we get again to this eutectic temperature. So at the eutectic temperature now, we have alpha phase and we have a liquid of this composition, the eutectic composition. So then what we've done is we've made a polycrystalline alpha structure in a liquid. And the liquid when we get to the eutectic temperature, has the eutectic composition. Now as we try and remove more energy from the system, right, our overall composition is still right here. So we try and remove more energy. We're going to stay at the constant temperature, the eutectic temperature, and we're going to make a solid eutectic. And in that solid eutectic are going to be the alpha phase crystal. So let me let me draw that. It's a very schematic representation of what we have. So when we get to this point, as soon as we get below the eutectic temperature, we have alpha crystals and then most of the structure in this case are going to be eutectic solid 
this laminar structure and various crystals of the laminar structure within the eutectic are the alpha phase. So this gives you a brief idea of what we mean by eutectic. And we can certainly have eutectic forming if we have a liquid and the two solids are completely immiscible. So we form two pure solids and then a eutectic would be those solids in a layered structure.